when we see glimpses of what we might call the fun Prince Harry, I believe it shows that, deep down, people still have a fondness for him and want to love him. However, there's a sense of profound disappointment. Despite the millions he earned from his book Spare, it seems he's paid a heavy price as it has done immeasurable harm to his reputation, especially within his family. People tend to disapprove of someone publicly criticizing their family so openly, particularly in America where family values are very strong. While family ties are important here too in America where they lack the kind of historical legacy we have, family plays a different role. I think people there feel let down by Harry. Nonetheless, it's refreshing to catch glimpses of the old Harry, and hopefully this resonates with him, making him realize there are certain things he's better off handling independently. This doesn't imply that he and Meghan are breaking up or getting a divorce. It simply means they are finding their own ways of doing things separately, which is a common path for members of any family. They learn to do things together and then also independently, so I'm not surprised. But seeing glimpses of the old Harry reminds me that people would likely forgive him in time. I can't say the same for Meghan, though William, on the other hand, has always been the one to think things through before acting, while Harry would often dive right in. William might ponder, should I do this, should I not, but it's lovely to see him let his hair down at a football match, where he can probably relax more than anywhere else. It's great to witness his enthusiasm for the game, as it makes him relatable. It seems he's been under a lot of pressure this year, and while we don't know the details, it must be extremely challenging, especially with his wife's health issues and managing family matters. He likely needs more outlets to unwind. As for Harry, I don't think he's on William's mind much right now. William has his own full plate with work and personal matters, and at the moment, Harry probably isn't crossing his thoughts. William has likely come to terms with the situation, processed his feelings, and understandably wants to put it aside for now. I don't foresee them reconnecting anytime soon not because it won't happen, but because they are both so absorbed in their separate lives. William's life is markedly different from Harry's now. While they always had different paths, it's especially clear at this point. We see William letting loose, cheering for his favorite team, Aston Villa, even so much that he mentioned getting a sore throat afterward. Meanwhile, we see Harry on The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon going through a haunted house. This really underscores the divide in their lives. Now Harry's life feels purely American, while William's is purely British, which makes sense given where each of them lives.